And what we're going to do uh, today in this short video is I'm going to introduce to you a chemical that can detect the presence of water. This is all part of uh, reversible reactions and equilibrium. We're going to utilize the help of a spirit burner. This is a spirit burner, it's just burning some ethanol. And I've got some copper two sulfate. Now this is uh, hydrated copper two sulfate. You can see that it's blue. I'm going to place it into a mortar and I'm going to use a pestle to pound the copper two sulfate to get it to very, very fine sized grain. So. time. What I'll do is I'll just show it to you. You can see what's going to happen. So heating it is actually going to allow uh, us to uh, get rid of what's called the water of crystallization. Okay, so I'm going to use a funnel just to transfer this over to an empty test tube. Now, during this process, what's also going to happen is that this powder is going to cool down. That's quite nice. That's settled all the way in. So we're just going to leave that for a couple of minutes. Okay, so I've got my anhydrous copper two sulfate uh, in a test tube here. And what I'm going to now do is I'm just going to add a thermometer in there and uh, it's cooled down quite nicely. It's quite warm in the, uh, in the lab at the moment and it's just sitting quite nicely at 30 degrees uh, centigrade. Uh, I could leave it for a little longer, uh, but I'm not going to. I think we will need to go home as well eventually. So I'm just going to now add some water back in to it and I'm going to uh, measure off the temperature as we do it. So let's just have a look and when we add this, we should get a reaction. Okay, so in goes the water again and it immediately fizzes. We just need a, a four, four drops maximum, I reckon. And already you can see that the temperature is rising. Can you see that on camera? Okay, so at the moment it's hit over 50 and this is feeling very, very warm indeed. That's now up to 55, between 55 to 60. <clears throat> and what you'll also notice is that this has now turned uh, blue because the anhydrous copper two sulfate is now turning into hydrated copper two sulfate. When I added this, it also fizzed. So over here, we've still got a very, very high reading on, uh, on the thermometer, it's between 60 to 70. We've got the formation of our uh, hydrated copper two sulfate. Okay. So it's, the reaction is over, the temperature is starting to come down again. So this is actually an exothermic reaction. And the reason why it's an exothermic reaction is because we actually needed energy to turn it from hydrated copper two sulfate to anhydrous copper two, sul uh, copper two sulfate. The energy was required to break the bond between the water molecules and the copper sulfate. And we are now getting that energy uh, transferred back out. So heating it is an endothermic process and adding water back in is an exothermic process. Thanks for watching.